Vivo is working on a new smartphone with a built-in camera drone, according to a patent filed by the company. The drone is speculated to feature two cameras and infrared sensors. As per Vivo's patent filing, it seems that the drone would be stored inside the smartphone itself, and exit the device when required. Let's Go Digital was the first to spot this patent by Vivo. A sketch published in the filing shows a small compartment on the top edge of the smartphone, where the detachable camera can slide in and out. This camera has four propellers to take it up in the air, a battery compartment for solo flying purposes, and a double camera system, with one sensor taking the front aerial view, while the other capturing footage below. The camera module is also equipped with multiple infrared sensors at the edges, to calculate the distance to other objects, and avoid collision. The patent notes that the flying camera can be controlled using the smartphone with which it is attached, and is likely to offer air gesture support as well. If the company does release the smartphone, it would have managed to get over an issue that manufacturers have been trying to get rid of, for a while. That is the presence of the camera notch on a smartphone, to house the front-facing selfie camera. Over the years OEMs have tried using motorized pop-up cameras, like Redmi K20 Pro, while other have used flip camera mechanism, like the SS6Z. Many use their smartphones to capture anything anywhere, sometimes even in difficult or dangerous locations and positions. One thing our powerful smartphones will never be able to do is to take aerial photos, at least not without some help from a drone or any other flying contraption. Never say never, as they say, and Vivo seems to be thinking of something to solve that problem. But, as many patents usually are, the idea is simple, but its implementation will surely become the stuff of engineering and manufacturing legend if successful. The image of a drone sliding out of your phone, to take pictures from places you can't safely go will probably trigger images of sci-fi or spy movies. Now let's argue practicality from both sides of the argument. There's a fair amount of evidence to say that this is a terrible idea. Moving components on a smartphone are historically the first to fail, dust gets stuck in it, components wear out, parts accidentally break. The presence of a drone would mean saying goodbye to water resistance, and there's also a high chance your drone can get lost or stolen, leaving you with absolutely no camera. Not to mention the fact that it practically means the end of privacy as we know it. Imagine hundreds and thousands of drones flying around in every public space, or worse, a drone entering a private space. That being said, drone photography is truly the final frontier in consumer photography. The smartphone camera is already comparable to a DSLR, so now imagine being able to point the camera from any vantage point. You could take distant selfies without selfie sticks, sunsets from inside your house, and get better photos at concerts. It's safe to assume that the drone would have a rather small battery, given its size, but one could easily make the argument that the drone could also wirelessly charge while docked inside the phone. As far as safety and privacy go, companies could build safeguards and throttles into the drone, preventing it from flying too far from its smartphone. It will definitely be interesting to see such technology in real life, at least for me. Let me know what you think about a phone within Build Drone Camera. Please do hit the like button as it helps out my channel a lot, and subscribe to Stuffbox for more cool stuff like this.